hey guys welcome back to my channel all right today we're going to be doing a collective love read it doesn't matter what sign you are it doesn't matter what element you are it's just you and me we'll see what's going on i did a pre-shuffle for you guys and uh this card came out of the lover's oracle i see that you guys are rem reminiscing about someone you are um feeling quite emotional for this person you're wanting to reach out to them uh, but you're kind of still holding back and you're still uh, in this upset um, mood right you're still holding on uh, to some resent so this card is saying emotions are are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment. So you may be needing to let go of what went on with you and this person and find uh, peace there, find the bright, find the light in the relationship here in order to allow yourself to either let the relationship go or allow this person to come back towards you in a more uh, meaningful way. The palm tree came out also and the palm tree basically tells us that there is stability and security coming in there's growth and being uh, flexible with your person or this could be your per your person to you all right take however it resonates flip it reverse it whatever you got to do with it uh, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity in your situation if it if it's not resonating that's fine come again another day all right and you have to be 18 years or older to uh, watch my reads so the hammer the hammer also came out here so maybe somebody was sabotaging this connection in the past but you're needing to rebuild all right so you're going to be rebuilding after repetitive uh, cycle that you had with this person and uh, you're going to show persistence and you're going to be working you're going to be working on this connection with the person all right so really nice okay let's see um i don't know what i want to do yet sorry i'm a little tired a little tired today so let's see this is going to be your person, left side, right side is going to be you. All right. Yeah, I figured that a lot of you watching maybe water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, so your person right now is feeling that there's not going to be any growth in this connection, that it's not flourishing. Uh, maybe this this person is feeling that you're unable to change your your patterns or maybe you're feeling like this person is uh, unable to change their their patterns or uh, being able to grow up out of this um, childlike uh, behavior that they do right. so you're here you're here you're trying to stabilize your emotions you're trying to um, you're, you know how you feel you're very you're well aware of what you're feeling for this person and how you're feeling with your own energy so you're 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 getting that peace you know you're coming to some peaceful resolution here all right but someone's holding on to to stuff someone's holding on to some of this heavy energy and it's not it's needing to you know you're needing to put the hammer to it knock it down and, and get out of it get out of the illusion of what's going on in this connection with this person i feel like this person or you uh take it how it resonates five of pentacles this person is feeling out in the cold they are feeling beaten down and they're feeling that there is no way that this connection can work in their favor or no way of them figuring out how to make this connection work here. 
how to grow, how to grow themselves. Because they it seems like they have very um, a lot of conflict within themselves. You're feeling bound to the connection and you feel like this person brings in conflict for you. They bring conflict. They bring crisis. They make you feel maybe you get sick. You know, maybe you're feeling sick after all the uh, the mind games that this player's person has done with you like you're trying to find your peace and your comfort and this person continues to bring conflict and and bullshit your way they make things a lot more difficult than they need to be all right so they leave you they leave you in this um cloudiness i feel this person leaves you in the clouds not knowing what to do with them. I feel like this person's very wounded. They got, they may get it, they got issues. <laughs> they got issues. All right, so what's the Five of Pentacles? It's five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles to Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. get this card too often. So the Eight of Pentacles, this person has turned their back. They've turned their back on you. But there's still, there's still something between you guys. See how she's holding the candle? She's still holding... Uh, passion for you she's still holding love for you with well, this person it doesn't have to be a female it's energy this person's still holding a fire for you a flame for you maybe trying to figure out how to come back in trying to figure out how to come back in but they haven't grown person has not grown they just stay in their miserable selves knight of wands you're coming up you're getting out of this eight of swords you're getting out of your head you're flipping shit around you're unshackling yourself in the situation you're getting your emotions in line you're, you're getting your chakras in line and you're showing passion to move forward you're ready for your happiness sure you're like i'm ready for happiness i'm ready for um someone to show passion for me i'm ready for good times i'm ready to dance i'm ready to play music you know i feel like you guys are just like i'm ready i'm ready and i feel like if you need to leave this person behind due to their immaturities and that's what you're gonna do uh, yeah you're gonna do because you're tired of the repetitive cycle or this person constantly sabotaging the connection between the two of you. Unable to come in as the Queen of Cups and yeah, unable to show emotions, un unable to um, show you peaceful resolution. So there might have been a tower moment with this person or there might be a tower moment coming because you're you're no longer wanting those tower moments you no longer want to go back and forth with this person you're wanting that security you're wanting the stability So the pre-shuffle looked like this person was possibly coming in to give you the stability, but I feel like now, going into this read, I feel like you are going to be giving you stability. You are getting out of that cloudy judgment 
and you are going to be pulling your emotions back and getting yourself feeling better because this person um, tends to juggle you maybe juggling you and other people they they give you a little bit and then they take it they give you a little bit and then they take it they're not consistent they're not consistent with their love and concern for you so they're kind of like playing with your emotions but I don't know if it's purposely or if they're just fucked in the head sorry guys but that's what it's looking like person is not ready for a connection with a mature person not ready to have that emotional closeness with you all right let's see anything else all right so your side yeah you're you're looking forward you're looking forward for your emotional fulfillment and you have you're get you're gonna get your emotional fulfillment within yourself all right within yourself you're filling you're filling your own cup up you're no longer waiting for this person to come in romantically for you or bring you roses or flowers and treat you the way that you're deserving and just so at 12 12 it was three seconds ago um so that may resonate with you so no longer waiting for this person to come and show you any type of emotions you're just like over it you're like yeah you're cute and everything but you ain't got you ain't got the goods you've showed me all right this person has showed you that they can't um, feed into you the same way they can't uh, give you what you want you know they give and then they retract give and then retract and that leaves you that leaves you wondering if this person really gives a shit for you at all all right because they're in and out behavior this person might have stripped you down stripped you down and and you might have been very vulnerable with this person or showed that showed them your emotions for them you know i feel like you guys have expressed how you feel for this person but they're they're not it seems like this person's not at the stage in their life to have an emotional mature connection with someone else they are childlike i don't even see that this person has i don't know what this person has their mind on because i don't see any like you know anything great happening with them they just might just be in a shitty place right now i was gonna say a shithole maybe not living in the best place all right i want to switch my cards i'm not feeling these anymore so let's see How is this person feeling right now? Oh, well, they're, they're feeling nostalgic. They're uh, they're reminiscing, but they're not looking to bring an offer. They're not bringing an offer right now to you. Yeah, they're being stubborn, and uh, you're like, all right, all right. <laughs> if you don't want to bring an offer to me, all right, that's fine. I'm done. I'm turning my back. Turning my back away from you. It should be this way. I'm turning away from you. I got other options here. I got other people wanting to give me the offer that you're, you're not giving. That's fine. I'm walking. See how you're walking away? You're walking. You're walking towards your passion. Oh, towards your two of cups. You're walking towards a soulmate. You're leaving this person behind and you're going towards a soulmate connection a person that will feed into you uh, evenly and 
might be dealing with, uh, I'm getting water, a lot of water here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, Sag. Gemini, Aries. So even though this person is not coming towards you with an offer, they're, they're thinking about you and they're feeling bound. They're feeling bound to either where they are now, maybe they have other options, all right? Maybe that's what they're juggling. They're juggling other options. Uh, and they're, they are thinking about you or feeling bound. They're either fe feeling bound to the, these other options or this person is feeling bound to you but unable to come to you with that emotional offer or that, you know, that relationship that you're looking for from them. So you're needing to make a judgment call. You need to make a judgment call, possibly putting an end to having emotions for this person or putting an uh, end to deceptive behavior with this person. Okay. Person might be a manipulator, wounded warrior, right? This person manipulates situations. They play a lot of games. They play a lot of games, this fucking person. Shit. Aries, Gemini. Sag, uh, Leo, person plays a lot of games, manipulates you, manipulates other situations uh, because they're wounded. This person's not healed and they don't know how to um, temper, temper themselves. They don't know how to bring peace and harmony in this situation. All they do is... <gasps> Make chaos. Very destructive energy. This person feels very destructive. Or maybe a Libra. So they only feed into themselves. This person only feeds into their own cup. See how she's pouring the cup into the other cup? But she's not going to be giving that cup to anybody else besides herself. So very um, selfish, very selfish, selfish energy here. Person may have uh, just cut you off in the past with harsh words, cut you off and ghosted you, and uh, didn't give you any clarity in the situation. This person. They think a lot. This person thinks a lot. You might have thought you were going to have some type of happiness with this person or they were your twin flame, but I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. There's no victory in this situation with this person. No justice, no victory, no communication. Uh, but you're no, yeah. So no victory, no balance, no harmony. No communication with this person to apologize or anything else. Now, that being that being said, that being said, you are going to be coming out of this indecisiveness. You are going to leave this person's sneaky tendencies, sneaky ways behind, not allowing them to come in and out of your life anymore. Uh, you're no longer going to be competing for their attention. You're no longer going to be giving this person an offer or taking their immature offers possibly. And you're looking for something new because you know the world is in your hands and you can conquer whatever you want. You can get whatever you want here. Putting this behind. Yeah. Putting this behind. Holding your ground. Now you're showing your greed, you're showing your selfishness to 
for this person. You're holding back and you're putting an ending uh, to this, this, you know, bullshit that this person wants to give you. So you're getting in a better place. You're coming to an uh, understanding that you're needing to get away from a person that is immature, that throws you in your head, that doesn't give you this clarity. And you're needing to go towards a person that actually will offer you that cup, hand you that cup of love and show you emotions and not hold back. And this person um, that's coming in will also um, not only give you that cup of love, but also give you that clarity of saying, oh yeah, you know, I like you or, you know, I feel that I want to have something uh, down the line. Like showing their shit matches up. Their actions and their words are going to match up. Unlike this person that you you have been around. Alright. I'm making a big mess tonight. tonight. Big mess. Alright, so this new person... Could be an air sign or a uh, water sign coming in. All signs showed here uh, because it is a collective read. So let's see. Let's see. What are we going to do next? Pick some letters. See what resonates. Give you a little bit more clarity. And then we'll see a little bit more about this new person coming in. All right, just little cards. So let's get some letters here. So this could be your initials, their initials, or words that resonate with you. It could be states, it could be whatever. B. All right, so you may just need to be. Be at the moment. Be present. Be under, hmm. I was going to say be on alert, be on alert, this person might be sneaky, seems like it, they do, they do, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, binary, binary, you may be binary. You might be a busy bee. All right. The initials are B E E U N R Y. Okay. You might have recently buried someone. Hmm. Knee, Newberry, Roy, uh, Brenda, hold on, I'm just moving things around here. New Year's Eve, maybe something might have happened dur during New Year's Eve. Rub. So somebody might want you to rub their back. You might be cold right now. I'm hearing burr, burr. You may be in a cold location. Are you needing a beer? You may be needing a beer. Go have a beer. Might be having a beer with this new person in New York. In New York. You, New York beer. <laughs> okay. And NYU. NYU. Okay, I think that one's for me. I just visited NYU about my fevers. So maybe I need a beer. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a drink tonight with you guys. So NYU. I'm having fun with these today. It might be a little nerdy. A little nerdy here. Uh, any, let me grab more. Get more names. 
All right, we got two S's. Ah, Jess. Jesse. All right. Jesse. Jess. So what letters we have here? Jason. You might be taking an Uber somewhere coming up. All right, so U B Y R Q S J A S E N E. Yeah, Jason I see is spelt differently. J. Maybe your person's name's J. Barbara. Eunuch. That's it. Jason's sticking out to me. J A Y S E N. Um, I'm getting center place. I have no idea. Center place. That's it. That's it there. All right, so the person coming in, new person coming in, old person going out for you guys. All right, so new person may not be coming in right at this moment for you guys. All right, with the four of wands in reverse. So maybe it's gonna give, maybe it's gonna be a little bit of time, but it may be a fire sign, Leo Sag coming in. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe this person might be bringing an apology. All right, so that that's what happens. <laughs> Old person always wants to show face. All right, so I feel like here, 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 here's what I'm getting. This new person is unable to come in for you due to the fact that you're holding on, uh, waiting on your past person to bring an apology, maybe get things started back with you. You're holding on to these emotions, these, this resent. Like this card says, in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You must let go of your emotions that you've been feeling and waiting on this person because it's blocking. It's blocking your blessings from coming in by continuously uh, you know, feeling hurt by this person and triggered by them. All right. So make a decision to let this person go to bring new love in. Yeah. Put the work in. Put the work in. Get your mind right. Change up that thought, thought pattern that you have going on with this person. Once you put the work in to heal yourself from this past situation, your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment comes in for you. That happy home, that happy relationship. See who's coming in yeah you you're taking you're needing to take a step back and reflect and go hermit and work on yourself and figure out what path you need to take in order to bring this ten of cups in this wish fulfillment yeah. getting out of this four of swords getting out of feeling um, stressed and worrying about uh, your relationship with this person or just, you know, the hurt that you've held on to. Releasing it all. Releasing it all. Yeah. You release it. You get all this. You get more offers. Not just with love, but career, friendship, opportunities to go out and have a good time. Release. Let go. Know that this person that you were dealing with was a wounded warrior that they, they had issues and they pawned that shit off on you. So you're now you're needing to uh, do some self-reflection and uh, move on from it. Find your strength and move on. See your beauty. Look, you look fabulous there. Look at those perky titties. Who wouldn't want to nibble on those bad boys? You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Let's do, um, I want to do a super attractor card. I haven't done them in a while. Keep it fresh. 
Okay, you got two. True manifestations are powered by service and love. Yes, you have to get into your love again. Live in that love and that will produce love for you. In stillness, I receive. Yeah, going karmic, taking that step back and feeling what you're needing to feel and releasing that and allowing this, this love to generate in your being after you, you pull back, okay? Really nice. Really nice, guys. So that's what I got for you. I hope the uh, read gave you some clarity. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys, all your gifts and donations and kind words on a daily basis. And if you'd like a personal read, you can go to the link in the bio. I do also um, offer chakra healing attention candles for a $5 donation. They're all cleared out with Palo Santo and Rose Moon Water. And all donate donations will go back into the channel for either cards or more candles. And uh, I do have a shirt on the way. And a Love Oracle deck coming soon in the next uh, three weeks for you guys. Please leave some feedback. Hit the like button, the share button, and the notification button to uh, get these uh, weekly reads. I've been doing them a little bit more lately. And uh, yeah, follow me on other platforms. Follow me here on TikTok and on Instagram. I hope you guys have a great day. And remember to stay in your power and do something nice for yourself today.